Hello everybody, Jonathan here with Bridge City Tai Chi Club, Portland, Oregon. And today we are going to go over the five most common errors in Tai Chi. So, and I'm going to start with number one instead of going five, two, one, because if you fix number one, then it's easier to do number two. And if you fix one and two, it's easier to do three and so on and so on. So we'll start at number one. Let's get started. Five most common errors in Tai Chi. So the first one is so important that Grandmaster Yang Chen Fu made it number one in his 10 essential points of Tai Chi, and that is suspending the head. People either don't suspend the head or they think they are and they're actually not. Suspending the head is fundamental. If you don't do that, then everything else is pretty much erroneous. This is the fundamental thing. I don't like to use visualization um, when I'm practicing or teaching because visualization techniques, while they can be useful for other types of practices in Tai Chi, you need so much of your attention and awareness focused on what's actually happening inside your body that if you use visualization, you're taking a portion of your awareness away from the actuality of what's happening. So, but in this instance, it's the only instance in Tai Chi where you actually do want to visualize because that's the only way to actually suspend your head. Many people will say, teachers included, tell their students, tuck the chin, tuck the chin. See what happens to my neck, tuck the chin and it plucks up like that. But that's incorrect as well, because tucking the chin creates tension in the front part of the neck. So it's hard to show on camera, but suspending the head is pushing up from the shoulders from below and imagining from the crown of your head hanging from the sky and letting everything hang down like the hook on a hanger and your skeletal system is the hanger and then the clothes hanging on the hanger would be your muscle your muscular system and your internal organs so you need to suspend the head so this is not suspending the head this is tucking the chin and that's incorrect this is suspending the head that is suspending the head. So it's hard to tell on camera, but you wanna feel like your vertebrae and your neck are, are pulling apart a little bit. So don't overdo it. Don't to create tension, but just suspend the head. This is sung, sung quality upward, releasing upward. So that's the first common error is not doing that. The second common error is not sinking into the pelvic girdle. So if you don't suspend the head, then the shoulders can't relax or can't drop down. The chest can't release properly and the abdomen won't release properly and you won't sink into the pelvic girdle, the inner hip. It's called Song Kwa and it's extremely important. So number one, suspend the head. Number two, the most common error is not sinking into the Kwa. And you'll see that move, moving. So you really, if you don't use the Kwa, you get the other errors that are coming down the line and I'll explain in a minute. So that's number two. Number three is not extending outward. Extension outward is extremely important and the way that you get extension outward in the lower body is through Song Kwa. In the upper body, it's by releasing the shoulders and keeping the elbows dropped with the head suspended. So they all kind of connect. They're all corrected by doing all of them correctly. So you need to suspend outward, suspend upward, suspend downward, suspend outward, or release, I'm sorry, release upward, release downward, 
release outward. So that's number three is not releasing outward. Just doing relaxed motion. This, even if my head is suspended and I'm engaging the claw, this is still not all of, this is still not releasing outward. And again, it's hard to, is that sunlight? Crazy. It's hard to show it on camera, but this is incorrect. This is correct. And the way that you can tell is that you feel just like suspending the head, you'll feel stretch, a slight stretch in your neck. You'll feel a slight stretch in your shoulder, in your elbow, and in your wrist. So that's number three. Number four is not keeping your joints in alignment. Not keeping your shoulder and hip in alignment. So twisting like that, or twisting like that. And not keeping your knee and toe in the same line. So twisting, and usually that happens during the movement. So the way to correct keeping your shoulders and hips is by number one and number two, suspend the head, release into the pelvic girdle and use the claw so that when you move, you're sinking here and not twisting your upper body. When you step, you're sinking here and not twisting your upper body in any direction. And the way, and that also corrects the lower body, your knees and toes. So, uh, crane spreads wings, for instance, here, you don't want to do this. Everything I did there was incorrect because on the first move here, I separated my shoulder and my hip. Now my shoulder's pointing that way, my hip's pointing that way. And then on the, this move, I collapse my knee in because I'm not sinking into this pelvic, into the inner hip. So now my knee's pointing that way, my toe's pointing that way. So to correct it, suspend the head, sink into this claw here. Good, now the shoulders, hips are in alignment, the knee, toe is in alignment. I'm suspended, released, outward, downward, upward, all at the same time. Good, now if you correct all four of those, then the number five most common mistake is not, let, not allowing the center to guide the movement. And if you can correct the first four, then it'll be a lot easier so oftentimes what you see is people doing like this, just moving their arms before their waist in anything like this, and then turning your waist. Your waist needs to guide all of your movement. So for brush knee and push step, for instance, you need to start this to get your arms into position and this leads it. It's probably most exemplary in single width, where you come here. Now this starts to move, and that actually moves your arm into position. So your waist needs to guide, even guide your foot. See that? Yeah, your waist guides everything. Your waist moves first, the rest of your limbs follow. So if you can correct, correctly suspend your head, correctly sink in to your pelvic girdle, correctly release your shoulders and elbows to extend outward, then correctly keep your, mostly your shoulders and hips in alignment and your knees and toes in alignment, then you can begin to guide all of your movement from your waist. So those are the five most common errors. Not suspending the head, not sinking into the pelvic girdle or inner hip or claw, not extending outward by releasing your shoulders and el elbows, and not guiding all of your movement by your waist. So you make those corrections, 
and you'll be golden. You'll be doing Tai Chi really, really well in no time. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like these types of uh, demonstration slash uh, lectures, then do all those things that algorithms love. Hit the subscribe button, get notified, all that kind of stuff. Share, like, leave a comment, but most importantly, keep on training. Jonathan out.